Welcome to what for? Today's Saturday, January 20th. The weather outside is frightful. You know, have you ever thought about balance? You know, if we want balance in our lives, we have to plan for that. Let me try to explain. You know, these, these, uh, these walkers are great tools. And I hope that uh, I don't need one real soon, but the day comes I do. I'm going to be very thankful for it, but it's a, it's a great device. When we think about balance, uh, <laughs> how complex that is, how do we get that in our lives, um, I really think it begins with, with God. You have to ask for it because it is very complex. Um, if we think about terms of, of investment, um, it's kind of a good analogy. You know, our, our investors say you need to put back for the future. You need to uh, invest if in the long term if you're ever going to have uh, you know the proper funds that you would need to sustain your life later on. Uh, I think that's wise. As long as we're giving the first part back to to God, because it's all it's all His, <laughs> and uh, well, that's a different subject. But as far as balance goes, you know we can think of it in in, in, in investment terms, and. Uh, you know, just like today, it's frightful outside. I invested in a home. I'm so glad I have these walls around me today. Uh, I think it was a good investment. Uh, when we buy a vehicle, a car, um, you know, it's, a, it's an investment. And it doesn't stop with the initial cost. If we do not maintain that investment, look what happens. Not only does it uh, break down, it doesn't run, uh, it's not worth much. You know, you have to maintain every part of your life. You have to have that balance in order to, uh, to get the most value out of it. So what I'm really talking about is, is affordable living, the, the way that's most affordable. And it is, you do have to look at it in the long term. Now we're talking about health, and uh, <clears throat> it's so complex. It begins with God, it begins with uh, being thankful, it begins with how grateful you are for what you have. Not how much you have, but what you have. It also, uh, you know, is an investment. If you don't take the time to invest in your health today, you're probably going to need one of these sooner than you think. Um, yesterday, <clears throat> I came home from work. And uh, my grandson had some uh, one of my favorite bags of chips open. I was a little bit hungry too. And uh, I walked by and said, let me just have one of those. I just need one. And man, it tasted so good. So it wasn't but a few minutes later I walked past him again and I said, you know, it's hard to just eat one. And I took the second. It was pretty good too. And then, uh, I don't know, another minute or so, I, I was back again. 
I actually went back four times. On the fourth time, he said, Pap, you just take them. And <laughs> I took them, but, but I also <laughs> folded them up and put them back in the cupboard. I didn't want to see them because the temptation was too great. It was just too easy just to grab one of those and, and two of those and three of those and four of those. And I know if I would have sat down with that bag, I would have probably ate every single one of them. But I have a goal, a long-term goal of investing in my health. I know there's things that I need to balance, weight, things I need to change in order to get the most out of my investment. It's just common sense. You people know what you need to do. I don't need to tell anyone what to do. I'm just here to encourage you because tomorrow is coming. How, what kind of quality of life do you want? If you want a good quality life, you have to invest. Take the time to do a little exercise. Take the time to get good rest. Take the time to get in God's word. Take the time to love your family. Today's a perfect day to love on your family. Everyone's wanting to stay inside. Play some games. Have fun. Enjoy life. That's the key. You have to love it. You have to want it. You have to appreciate what you have. God bless you all. And I just, like I said, I just want to encourage you to make wise investments. See you next week. Bye.